a green hill far away, without a city wall, where their dear Lord was crucified, who died to save us all. We may not know, we cannot tell, what pains he had to bear, but we believe it was for us he hung and suffered there. He died that we might be forgiven. He died to make us good, that we might go at last to heaven, saved by his precious blood. There was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gate of heaven and let us in. Oh, dearly, dearly, as he loved, and we must love him too, and trust in his redeeming blood, and try his works to do. Here we have a cross presented to us at Clearway by St. Clear British Legion. And I'm reminded on Good Friday of that cross that Jesus gave his life on. Jesus' friends, Peter, James and John, you'd think they'd have got used to all the shocks and changes that Jesus brought into their lives. It all started when he um, borrowed Peter's boat to go and preach from. And when he finished, he said, ah, oh, go, go out fishing. And they said, well, we didn't catch nothing all night. How are we going to catch anything now in the daylight? Jesus said, go and put your nets on the other side to what you normally do. You'll catch fish. And of course, they caught loads. Peter, James and John were in Jairus' house on that fateful day when his young 12-year-old daughter died. The sadness in the morning. But then Jesus said, she's not dead, she's asleep. He took the girl by the hand and said, little girl, get up. And they saw him bring this young girl back to life. And what about their friend Lazarus? They heard he was sick and uh, unusually Jesus didn't go he stayed where he was for three days this is unusual I mean Lazarus was really sick and he didn't go after three days he went and found Lazarus are dead dead already Jesus said take the stone away take the stone away but he's dead Lazarus come out and Lazarus came out all the way through, you find that there are so many surprises, so many things happening. And Peter and James and John, you'd think, would be used to it. What about Palm Sunday? The excitement. Suddenly, at last, they thought, at last, something great is going to happen to our nation. At last, Jesus is going to experience the full recognition that he deserves. At last, he's going to be our king. Four days later... He's arrested. Five days later, he's dead. Nailed to a cross. The shocks and surprises that these disciples, Peter, James and John, Jesus' friends, had to endure. The ups and downs of following him. And here we are. On Good Friday, 2021. Remembering the death of the most perfect person that's ever lived. As the poem said that I read to you earlier, there was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. You see, each one of us have been tried and sentenced. And the verdict for not being perfect in this life is death, not physical death, Eternal death, the death of our soul, the death of our spirit. Death in hell. That's why Jesus died. That's why Jesus, who loves us so much, gave, he gave his life because our eternal destiny was in the balance. There was no hope for us outside of him 
giving his life outside of him taking the sentence outside of him taking our verdict Jesus has given his life that we might have eternal life that we might be free will you take hold of him today will you follow him today for God so loved the world that whoever believes on him will not perish but will inherit eternal life may God bless you on this special Good Friday let's pray Lord Jesus we thank you for giving the ultimate sacrifice not only giving your life on that cross but taking all of our rebellion all of our sin all of our wrongdoings upon yourself allowing yourself to be separated from your father thank you for descending to the depths for us and setting us free in jesus your precious name we pray this prayer amen